All right, now let's think about the series that we were looking at earlier. 2 plus 4 plus 6, so on, up to 2n. All of those added together equals n squared plus n. We saw this works in three particular cases. We want to prove that it works in every case. We can't just assume that it works just because we've seen it work in one case and another and another or even a hundred cases or a thousand or a million. We can't assume that it works in every case. We have to prove that it is the case. And this is the technique. The mathematical induction follows uh, two steps and the first step is really easy. The first step is prove that it works for one case. And that's usually trivial. We've already shown that it works for three, case, for three cases. We took n equals 4, for example. 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 was 20. And we saw that 4 squared plus 4 is also 20. So proving that it works for one case is pretty easy. The second thing we have to do is prove that if it works for some number k in general, prove that if it works, and by it I mean our equation, our formula, our statement about natural numbers, prove that if it works for some number k, then it also works for the next number, k plus 1. And that is the induction step. Those two steps together are the basic method of mathematical induction. And here's how, here's how they work in this particular case. I'm just going to do the simplest possible case for step number one. Prove that it works for, for one case. I'm going to let n equal one. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and write step one here. n equals one. Well, two, that's my left side just one term. On the right side, if n is 1, I have 1 squared plus 1. Is that true? Yes, it is. 2 equals 1 squared plus 1. So it works for one case. We've just shown that. We've taken one particular case, any particular case, and we've shown that it works. Now, step 2. I have to prove that if it works for some number k, then it also works for k plus 1. In other words, I want to prove that if it works for k. So if this is true, two plus four plus six and so on up to not two n but up to two k, if it works for some number k, that equals k squared plus k, that if that is true, then this is also true that it works for k plus 1. So if that's true, then 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus, and so on, plus this time up to k plus 1. So I'll have plus 2k plus 2 times k plus 1. This is just the same formula restated, but instead of plugging in k, I'm plugging in k plus 1. On the right-hand side, the right-hand side, remember, was n squared plus n. So now I have k plus 1 squared plus k plus 1. So the induction step is to prove that if it works for, for the number k, then it also works for k plus 1. So what we do is we assume that this is the case, assume that it does work, and then try to show, based on this fact, that it also works in this case.